Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and heard the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 17th of May. India's Home Minister denies changing constitution as BJP's agenda after elections. Pakistan's inflation rate drops, but experts project stagnant growth. And Nepal's PM Dehel to seek vote of confidence for the fourth time. And now for all the details. India's Home Minister Ramit Shah on Friday denied opposition's claim that his ruling Bharatiya Janata Party will change the constitution if they return to power. In the last election in 2019, the ruling BJP had won 303 seats and its allies won around 50 seats. Its slogan during the ongoing election has been this time above 400. Shah in an interview said, we already have the majority to change the constitution for the last 10 years. Do you think the country will believe what the opposition says? Samvidhan badal ne jitna bohumat hamare pas das saal se. Ab kya maanti hai ki Rahul Baba and company bolegi aur desh maan lega? Desh ne hi hamen bohumat diya hai. Desh ki janta ko malum hai ki Modi ji ke pas das saal se samvidhan badal ne ke liye pariyapt bohumat hai. Hamne kabi hi approach nahi kiya. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is seeking a rare third straight term in a contest which pits his BJP against an alliance of more than two dozen opposition parties, including main rival Congress. His challengers have promised greater affirmative action, more handouts and an end to what they call Modi's autocratic rule. Moving on. Pakistan's consumer price inflation has slowed to around 17%, the lowest reading in nearly two years. But experts believe the economic woes are unlikely to decrease soon, a report. Pakistan has recently seen its inflation dropping from a record high of 38% last May to 17.3% in April this year. However, experts believe significant challenges persist, including a high fiscal shortfall and stagnant growth. Pakistan's economy is grappling with structural bottlenecks exacerbated by political uncertainty. Despite some improvement in macroeconomic indicators, the State Bank of Pakistan has said in its sixth monthly report released recently, experts say there is a need for reforms to increase income while managing taxes. Pakistan has a very big issue in Pakistan, and the tax is a very limited and fixed income every month. और वो मिशन को भी वही चला रहा है अगर मैं ये कहूँ कि देखिए अगर उसके पास पैसे हैं तो आपकी सेल्स बढ़ जाती है दुकानों की आप देखिए आप प्रोडक्ट्स बढ़ जाती हैं पैदावार बढ़ जाती है ईद के दिनों में आप देखिए सबसे ज़्यादा खरीदारी वही तनख्वाहदार तबका कर रहा होता है लेकिन अगर उस तनख्वाहदार तबके के पास अपनी रोटी पूरे करने के लिए पैसे ना हो तो वो बाज़ारों में कहाँ पे जाएगा कैसे वो शॉपिंग करेगा तो इसलिए मैं एक तजवीज़ भी दूँगा आपने जो महंगाई की बात की जो परेशानी की बात की तो परेशानी तो ये है कि वो गैप जो है इनकम में और अखराज में जो गैप पैदा हो गया ना उस गैप को पूरा करने के लिए कम करने के लिए ज़रूरी है Pakistan last month completed a short-term $3 billion IMF program, but the government has stressed the need for a fresh long-term bailout. An IMF mission is already in Pakistan to discuss the financial year 2025 budget, policies and reforms under the potential new program. It is likely to increase financial woes. China and Russia on Thursday warned the United States and the NATO against trying to set up military infrastructure in Afghanistan as they called on the Western countries to take responsibility for the economic and social difficulties the country is facing. In a joint statement, Russian President Volodymyr Putin and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping said NATO and the US should recommit to supporting post-conflict reconstruction in Afghanistan and take necessary measures to unblock the country's frozen assets. The two leaders also expressed their intention to pursue a stronger partnership over Afghanistan to make it an independent, neutral and peaceful country. While the Taliban remains outlawed in Russia, 
top Russian official had recently said the de facto rulers of Afghanistan are unknown longer enemy to Moscow. Talking to Russian agency TASS, Zamir Kabulov, director of Foreign Ministries Asia Department said the relations between Russia and the Taliban are on the rise. However, he added there are certain political limits in the relations. A Sri Lankan court on Thursday increased remand of five suspects including a retired Major General of Sri Lankan Army in connection with the case related to sending former military personnel as mercenaries in Russia-Ukraine conflict. According to media reports, apart from the Major General, a Sergeant Major, an official from a foreign employment agency, had duped ex-military personnel and facilitated their travel to Russia by charging large sums of money. Reports suggest while 16 Sri Lankans have been killed, more than 288 soldiers have also been identified to have participated in the conflict. Deputy Foreign Minister of Sri Lanka, Taraka Balasurya, has however said, as per unofficial sources, approximately 600 to 800 Sri Lankan individuals are in Russia. He said a high-level delegation will be dispatched to Russia to investigate their fate. And... Amid ongoing disruption and chaos in the parliament, Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dehel is scheduled to take his fourth round of trust vote on Monday. The latest round of the confidence vote comes after Rupendra Yadav-led Janta Samajwadi Party Nepal pulled out its support from Dehel's government. Nepal's constitutional provision requires Prime Minister to seek trust vote after any ally withdraws support. This also comes at a time when there's an ongoing protest by opposition lawmakers demanding formation of a parliamentary investigation committee to probe cooperative fraud involving Home Minister Rabi Lamichane. Earlier on Thursday, scuffle also broke out between opposition and the ruling alliance lawmakers in the lower house of the parliament over the same issue. The lower house has been facing disruption since weeks as opposition lawmakers are adamant over formation of a parliamentary committee against the Home Minister. Moving on, exiled Tibetans in India on Friday took out a protest march in the hill town of Taramshala, demanding release of their spiritual leader, the 11th Panchen Lama. Yedun Chokoi Niyama was recognized as the 11th Panchen Lama in 1995 by Tibet's current spiritual leader, the 14th Dalai Lama. However, following his appointment, Niyama was allegedly abducted by China, which went on to anoint its own proxy Panchen Lama the same year. While neither Niyama nor his family have been seen since the abduction, Beijing claims, he is living a normal life and did not want to be disturbed. Activists often say China has violently tried to stamp out religious freedom and culture in Tibet. China, however, rejects the criticism. This is now the 29th time that we are gathered here and we want the Chinese government to like, you know, release Panchen Lama and, uh, you know, like give us the current well-beings and whereabouts of 11th Panchen. We want him to be released soon. We want him back and, um, and also it, it also shows the uh, disregard for the human rights and uh, there is no religious freedom inside Tibet. The 61st flash show in India's Kudai Canal began on Friday, attracting hundreds of visitors. The Tamil Nadu Department of Horticulture has made elaborate preparations for the annual floral show at the Briant Park, a major tourist attraction. Visitors expressed their delight to get a glimpse of this visual extravaganza of beautifully arranged bouquets amidst the greenery and refreshing environment of the park. Besides, an elaborate display of roses, lilies, orchards and a variety of other exotic plants, artistically cut vegetables are also being showcased. Visitors can also purchase saplings and seeds. The show aims at boosting the flower industry in the region. This is our first experience at the flower show. Many flowers are available to see. All varieties of flowers and vegetable carvings and flowers orchards are uh, showcased here. Please all come and uh, cherish the moment. We also enjoy here the weather. All are very good. Uh, on this year, they have lots of collections, especially tulip and conditions, and they have created a new varieties of peacocks and bears and a selfie point and a 360 view video creating uh, places. And it's really awesome. Um, I, re I seriously request the tourists to come here and enjoy the climatic conditions and the flower shows. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time.
time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night and take care. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.